Burp. Burp. shot the best buck that I've ever taken off of this property in three years that I've been out here. So, not as not as big as the first two deer I've shot this year, but this is only my second set out here all year. And I just had I just had a couple other spots that just had some bigger bucks and I just was hunting those places hard, but I knew that, that this was the time right here around Thanksgiving where bucks are going to show up and uh, hopefully those are going to be in eat and uh, they're going to be chasing. That's exactly what was going on this morning. Um, had about what, I think six, six, seven does in here. All of a sudden this big eight, I mean, we're going to see how big he is, but a good eight, I think, looks looks like he's at least three and a half years old, but he came in, started dogging those does, and uh, got my binoculars up, and once I realized that, that I think he was a shooter, um, I went ahead and uh, got him on camera, and came through this, this patch here about three times, and got him on the, on the third pass. I grunted a couple times, and <laughs> he didn't, that didn't stop him, and None of the does even paid attention to it, but um, third time's a charm, uh, and he came back, and uh, I was able to get the crosshairs on his shoulder and made a great, you know, clean ethical shot. Um, he's laying, he's laying right there, had moved. Um, I decided to stay in the stand. I shot him at about seven thirty this morning. That's about almost. It's about almost nine o'clock now, but just there was a couple of does kept milling around, and one in particular. I mean, she just, you know, you'll see on the video. I mean, she was in heat. If you don't know what a doe looks like in heat, just just watch this, because, uh, I mean, she was swishing her tail all around and just standing there and just staying there and, and, and wishing, hoping that a buck was going to come. I mean, she's ready. So I just wanted to. I wanted to stay, you know. I needed to stay, obviously, until all the deer left. But, you know, you never know. I mean, a bigger buck could have showed up. So, um, so anyway, I've been here about an hour and a half and haven't been in any activity in a while. So I think I'm gonna let's go down and take a look. Um, let's take a look at this eight point and see uh, see how good he is. Oh yeah, man, he's a good one.
Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a good one, man. Boy, that I shot him kind of low though, didn't I? Huh. That's a good buck for this area. I gotta get him out of here though. Yeah, that's a good buck. Good buck right there for the flatwoods. Sure is. All right. Let me get him on out of here. Well, all right. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving morning right here in the North Florida Flatwoods and uh, struck gold right here, my third buck of the year. And this is, uh, I was saying earlier that I, I thought that this was the, the best buck that I had taken off of this particular property um, in uh, deer management unit C3 in the Flatwoods. Um, I've been hunting here, this is my third season out here. And I, the best one I'd gotten so far was the first year and it was a seven point that was Probably, probably the same age, but not as good a rack as this one. So uh, this is uh, this is the best buck I've I've had at this spot. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, very thankful for that, and and for the other two just giant bucks that I got it on two other pieces of property a little north of here. But um, anyway, uh, just a just a great hunt, you know. And it, it's taken me a while. <laughs> It's taken me years to finally figure it out, but um, you know, I, I think I'm, I think I'm learning something about this deer hunting, and you know, I, I think, I think some tips I could share with you is, you know, if you can, get as many, um, as many places that uh, that you can hunt uh, as possible, you know, and as close to your house as possible. I've got three right here, within 15 minutes of my house and my office, and uh, so it's it doesn't take much to uh, get in a an early morning hunt or even a you know get off work an hour early and and get in the woods in the afternoon but i've uh i've learned that um if you want to try to kill big bucks um you know don't shoot the does don't shoot the young bucks and really try the best you can to not hunt the area uh very much at all uh until the time is right and uh, an important key is finding out when the time is right in your area and what i mean by that is that window uh, where you have the best opportunity where a mature buck will come out in daylight and so around here in leon county what i found i got like four years of, of data to to support this but and it's the same every year but november 17 through november 25 and maybe even a little later than that but that's when you need to hunt as many mornings and as many afternoons as you can. And the more spots you have, the more you can bounce around and, and not burn a spot out and hopefully um, be one step ahead of the buck instead of them being two steps ahead of you like they normally are. I only go in that area to hunt or to maybe feed, uh, but I don't just go in there to pull camera chips. Um, I'll pull camera chips when I go in and hunt or when I go in and feed, but that's the key I think is staying out of an area as much as you can and don't hunt too much until the time is right. And you gotta know when that time is right where you're at and hunt as many times as you can. Um, and the more places you have, the more opportunities you have where you're hunting different deer, different bucks. And uh, if you can hunt more than one rut, uh, in the late season I go over to Jackson County and hunt a peanut farmer's uh, field over there in two eggs. So um, anyway That's what I got for you today uh, Hey, stay tuned for more hunting videos on Tony Young Outdoors and happy Thanksgiving to you. God is great All the time